Hello everybody, this video demo is based on the request of some viewers of this channel. Basically, they would like to know how do I go about modeling this human face. Okay, let's start. As it took me quite a while to get this model done up, I think what I'll do is to summarize the processes as uh, generic points. Okay. The first thing that I did was to trace the side profile using the control point curves. Okay. And then what I did was I built sub D faces on one half of this um, form. Okay. Basically on, on this half. And then I used the sub D reflect object tool to reflect the other half over here. Okay. One thing to take note of when building something as organic as this is to look into the topology of the form. Basically topology is um, the arrangement of the faces of the sub D object. Okay. It is uh, an important aspect to consider because it will affect how we go about uh, mo modifying the uh, object's faces. Okay. Let me um, give you a demonstration to illustrate what I'm talking about. Okay. You notice that for the lips and the eyes region, the Faces are arranged with the edges um, in a close loop manner. Okay, you can see that yeah, the faces are arranged in this uh, fashion. Okay, likewise, the lips is also having the same kind of uh, close loop uh, arrangement. Okay, this is done in order for the subsequent uh, uh, modification of the form to be. Uh, well um, planned okay for example let me uh, show you how can I go about like making some kind of adjustment over here I can do so by using the insert edge okay and then set the type to ring and mode to full okay you notice that if I were to select um, one of the edge a full ring of our ages will be selected okay and if i were to press enter i can like insert a edge loop over here okay and with the edge loop i can make further more modification for example i can uh, double click to select this edge loop and you know give a little bit of bulge around the eye region okay had the topology been different in a sense that uh if the Edges are not arranged in a circular fashion, but rather come across here. What I'll get is that if I were to insert edge, the edge will go all the way here. And if I were to make some adjustments, um, the, the form will not be uh, well adjusted. Okay. Around the, the region around here. Okay. So hence topology is a very important consideration when modeling organic forms such as this. Okay. So I think what I'm going to do now is to move this uh, model that I've done up to, to the back, okay? And let's lock it, okay? And then proceed to show some of the <coughs> processes, okay? So the first thing I did was, uh, as I mentioned, get the side profile using the control point curves. And then the next thing I did was I typed the review to make this new curve sub D friendly. Okay, this is a very important part to be aware of. Uh, make the new curve sub D friendly and click OK. And then uh, we can proceed to do our first extrusion. Okay, something like that. Okay, we're going to press tab to make the uh, sub D into the flat mode. Okay. Let's hide this. Okay. Okay. Now 
let's uh, demonstrate how we can go about uh, building the, the lips over here and also uh, in the process show how we can rearrange the topology so that it becomes uh, like a, a closed loop topology okay for this kind of work it is um, useful to be able to move your vision from one view to another so that we can uh, confirm uh, what are the elements that has been selected okay so basically what I want to select is this uh, edges over here so I'm going to select uh, let's turn on the sub object okay this 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 and this okay something like that okay maybe uh one more yeah okay and then let's uh extrude this okay you might want to also uh see the front view okay to determine how far you want to uh extrude okay these are uh, these faces okay so i think i'll extrude until here and then let's uh scale this down something like that Be somewhere around here, okay, something like that, okay, something like that, okay. You will still need uh tons of fine adjustments, but I'm not going to bore you with this kind of work, okay. So next thing I want to do is to uh, add more segments over here, and we can do so by using this the insert edge ring, okay. So type set to the ring, okay, and mode are set to full. Okay, I want to insert let's say one H somewhere here. And let's uh repeat the process again. Okay, something like that okay something like that okay so um okay you notice that if i were to try to do a uh, edge insertion over here this edge will stop here but what i want to do is like a loop insertion over here okay uh, let me do a demo okay to show you okay so let's set this to re okay you see uh these are uh, edges they stop here but what i want is to have a full like a uh, loop here okay so uh, what you need to do is to rearrange the faces to a new topological flow that is uh, like this okay and to make it easier for us to see the processes what i'm going to do is uh, to delete away uh, these these faces okay okay something like that okay and then let's rearrange this okay and this kind of work is quite tricky to be honest okay so what i'm going to do i think is let's insert one segment over here we can do so by using the uh, insert point okay let's delete this Okay, now I want to create like a new face here. Okay, so let's use the this 3D face and click on the append so that you can append it to the main form here. Okay, enter. So one, two, three, four. Okay, something like that. Okay, and then we can delete away uh, this face. Okay, the old face. Okay.
Okay, so I need to um create a four sided one over here. So I think an easy way is to just uh, select this and make sure that the object the vertex is turned on, right? Snap this here, okay? Snap this here and let's adjust this a little bit. So now uh this part is more or less like resolved. We need to like work work this region here. Okay. Okay, let's say if I still want to maintain this kind of uh, sharpness. Okay, let me just adjust this. Okay, let's say I still want to maintain this. What I can do is I'll repeat the same process again. I'll do an insert uh, point here. Okay. And then let's do a new base here. Okay. So delete this okay click the append append to this thing okay and we can remove away this face okay the existing one and we can remove this as well and then let's create a new face here using the 3d face click append Okay, something like that okay this line here indicates that uh this is not appended so what i'm going to do is i think uh what i can do is let's just delete it here okay and just create a new face here okay append okay yeah it's done okay so now we can like do a bit of adjustments okay I, i'm not going to bore you with the fine adjustments just a big rough one to show the process okay let's lock this okay so now we have like a like a loop over here okay so if i were to let's say um let's double click okay let's uh, select this 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 two here and i want to create like further further faces okay and notice that i'm able to do so um by using the extrusion okay let's adjust this before we extrude the next uh, segment okay so we can like you know, scale this and you might want to you know adjust this uh, there are tons of fine adjustments that need to be done, but um, I'm not going to bore you with that. Just do a bit of adjustments over here first. Okay, so maybe something like that. Yeah, you can see. Yeah, so we can like um, shape out the 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 details in this way. Okay. Kill this further, okay, something like that, okay. Okay, something like that, okay. And if I were to do a uh, loop around here, I'm able to do it, okay. Think now what I can do is uh, let's create the other half by using this okay 
the something different object okay so you can select this okay select the site you want to keep okay this is a site you can enter okay so we got the other half okay so yeah so you can see that uh let's press tab okay we like got some of the details and like for example let's say if you want to add another um H loop over here I can do so using the subtly edge again and set it to ring okay and you can see yeah I'm able to add another H loop over here and then proceed to do like my adjustments okay Okay, you can see, yeah. So you can do like fine adjustments. something like that then I uh, need to like you know, do some kind of work okay? but I don't think I want to bore you with uh, this kind of work okay so basically uh, this is how you go about creating the form okay and this process most probably will be repeated for the eyes over here and then we must find ways to connect the various elements and for me um, you just have to be flexible in being able to adapt to the situation and using the appropriate uh, commands okay, to create the other faces okay and if you like to have a full detailed description of the process um, you might want to keep a lookout for upcoming subdi book that I'm writing with regards to rhino modeling okay with that i come to the end of this uh, demo Hope that's been useful. See you. Bye.